Trump National Golf Course is situated in Loudoun County. And I think I will probably be forever associated with that golf course. I was in recovery from running the Marine Corps Marathon and decided to go for a bike ride on a Saturday afternoon and uh, encountered the uh, presidential motorcade. I decided to express my opinion to the occupant of the motorcade and I flipped him off. I woke up the next morning to find out that my photo of my backside um, had gone viral. I was surprised, but in hindsight, I think that part of the reason it went viral was because it was an image that matched many of the emotions and feelings that were happening in our country at the time. So on Monday morning, I went into my place of full-time employment and trying to do the right thing, I told them like, I don't know if you've seen this photograph, it happens to be me, the media is calling, and another employer is getting threats, and the HR person I was speaking to said, you're allowed to go for a bike ride, uh, just please don't talk to the media on company time. And I thought, fair enough. Uh, I went home that night and you know enjoyed dinner with my two kids and went to work the next day. I was held back from a meeting that afternoon, it happened to be Halloween, and I was fired from my job. I was escorted out of the building with my cardboard box and I was thinking I was so glad I didn't dress up for Halloween because it was demeaning enough that I was getting escorted out of a building after being wrongfully terminated from a position for expressing my opinion, as is my right through the First Amendment. Then I decided, yes, in fact, I was going to go talk to the media. Also began speaking with legal representation to see if I could file a lawsuit, which I eventually did. I was a PTA officer, I volunteered a lot in the schools, I volunteered a lot for my kids' sports teams, uh, I was a working single mom. I received a call from the chairwoman of Loudoun County who asked me to run for the seat that I hold now. Um, I wasn't really sure about whether I wanted to run for office. I worked for about a year for other Democrats, including our now Congresswoman Jennifer Wexton, on their campaigns just to learn what the process was like. But until the day I was fired, I hadn't really thought about becoming really politically active. But the second I <laughs> was fired, and I think it was even that night or the next morning, I actually signed up immediately to help with the polls uh, in our statewide elections the next week. I did decide about a year later to run for office. We deal mostly with land use and budget issues. And in fact, if Donald Trump were ever to try to change the use of the land where his golf course is in my district, um, it would probably come in front of the board. I championed a project to get bike paths uh, on one of the main streets in my community. And we're working on other things that have to do with equity and inclusion. So I'm really proud uh, to be bringing democratic values to the Board of Supervisors, which once uh, was uh, Republican dominated. Loudoun County is a great place to live, work and play, and we're gonna make it even better.